Hello everyone. Welcome back to Now I Know. Lately I have been getting this question a lot that how do I make my notes? So here it is in this video I will show you exactly how I make my notes. So let's begin. Now considering the current scenario it is possible that you might be taking online classes. but whether you're taking online class or offline class this method will help you with both so first things first stationery you should always have two sets of notes one set which i would like to call as running notes they are the notes that you will be using in your class to take down the running notes and a set of final notes which you will be using to make your notes from whatever running notes you have got now you can have you know one note having all the subjects but i would highly recommend you to have different notebook for each subject or at least a five subject notebooks or divide your notebook so that you can have a dedicated section for different subject trust me this helps a lot other than this you should also have a4 size papers most likely you might have these because you'll be using it for your assignment but i'll tell you how i use it to my make my notes in later on also you should have a small diary where you note down important points like when is my assignment due when is my presentation due when is my final exam etc other than this the basic requirements uh, of your pens should have at least blue black and red color pens pencil eraser of course uh, goes without saying and also if you're someone like me who loves a lot of colors in notes then you can have uh, color pens or sketch pens or pencil colors but remember this is the totally optional you don't have to have this only if you like just have it otherwise it's okay totally can do without that also use highlighters at least you should have one highlighter it's a must even though i have various color i somehow end up using only this one color highlighter so i would just recommend have one basic highlighter and star of the show at least for me is posted notes i cannot tell you how important uh, posted notes are because trust me they will be your best friends they actually save you a lot of time at the end when just before the exam you want to just go through and browse through some of the crucial points of a given topic so they are really time savers now there are two tips here before we start i'll tell you is number 1 to always keep your syllabus with you it's really really helpful because you know what exactly you have to study and what all topic has to be involved so whether it is in class or whether you are making final notes always always keep your syllabus with you and number 2 to have a habit of writing down the reference books that are needed for the given topic generally uh, teachers would have at least two reference book for a given topic so you make sure that you ask which are the reference book and you note down which reference books to be followed for the particular topic very very important please do not take it lightly and also you can write down the date you should actually i strongly recommend it i follow it now when it comes to take down the running notes i know it is not uh, super easy sometimes to understand uh, what has been taught and to write simultaneously so the best way i used to uh, take care of this is to make sure that i at least write the main heading and all the subheadings that teacher writes on the board or if it's an online class whatever you see on the screen so i will make sure that i have the heading and all the subheadings in the place also here one small tip i will give is while writing heading and the subheading just write it little bit above your main line because at the end you know it just gives a neat look you know it's it's not such a big deal you might be knowing it but for me for a while when i started in my graduation i was not doing it so it it just gives a neat look that's all the second tip that you should remember is you don't have to write the full sentences whatever you are listening make sure that you pick up all the keywords and just write down the keywords as you can see here i'm not writing the full sentences but i am just writing the keywords that will come under that particular topic 
and if there are diagrams that are uh, being taught or that are there in the topic just take a rough diagram with pencil you don't have to be super uh, organized or artistic at that particular time just make sure that you label the diagram properly next tip very very useful is to use all the abbreviations your own abbreviations like i used to use pw for pathway cz for uh, because three dots for therefore just make sure that you know what these short forms are so just use them they are really useful So these are my actual graduation notes, my running notes that I used to take in class, microbiology. You can see the unit name and uh, the unit number and the date. Reference book is not there because this was one single reference book that we were following throughout. See, this is why I was telling you to write a little bit above. You can see heading, my boxes are not that neat. So if you are writing a little bit above for the heading and subheading, it will give a neater look compared to what you can see here right now. Also, remember whenever teacher, uh, they are teaching in class, we have a habit of saying that this is very important. So whenever you, you hear something which is very important, make sure that you just underline it or box it then and there. Just don't worry about how it looks and all. Just make sure that keyword is uh, being underlined or it's being boxed up so you know that this particular point is very important. Now, when it comes to making the final notes, I'll, uh, I just want to bring this to your attention that sometimes students have this idea in their head that notes have to be like really long and it has to be like certain amount of pages. That is a wrong concept. That's a myth that your final notes has to be certain pages long. So that's not the thing. And second thing, it doesn't have to be like very pretty looking, colorful, artistic notes no it is not the thing as far as it is neat to the point and precise that serves the purpose so when you're sitting down to make your final notes keep your reference book your syllabus and your running notes together that's good enough to make the final notes now when you're writing down the final notes again you don't have to write it in full long sentences as you can see these are my final notes that i have used uh, to make one of the video I have just wrote down all the important points in a brief way. Here you can see one of the competitive exam that I was preparing. These are the notes. This is how I make my final notes because once I know the key point, it becomes easy for me to write in full sentences in exam. So just have main points in place with wherever you feel like color coding them, underlining them or highlighting them. Now, when you're using your reference books, uh, some people have habit of uh, using highlighter in the books, but I personally don't like it. I don't like to use highlighters or colors or anything permanent in my books. You can, of course, follow whatever uh, feels right to you. But you know, sometimes you used to get notes from uh, teachers or notes from some other seniors. In that case, if there are Xeroxes of uh, some book or maybe Xeroxes of some notes, in that case, I used to highlight it as you just saw. Now you see posted notes, how these notes are useful. If, if you are reading one topic, there are certain key points that are confusing and that you just want to remember it as soon as you open the chapter that those points are just your attention is drawn to that particular point. In that case, I will use uh, post-it notes. Let's say for example, for me, it used to be uh, while studying genetics, the ratio of different types of cross that used to happen. So what I uh, did was I would write all the cross uh, types with their F2 generation ratios and this posted note was pasted on my genetics notes. So like 10 times if I see a book, that book in, in a day, 10 times I would be reminded of that and that really used to help me. Subconsciously, I, I remembered all the ratios. So that's how you can use posted notes to remember certain crucial aspects or points of the topic and also at the end time when you have no time to read the whole notes just before the exam you want the important points these are time savers just go through these uh, posted notes you know that what all points are very very important they are fresh in your mind
now you see these are some of the uh, graduation uh, post graduation time notes i think they are not so colorful they are not at all colorful actually only single color pen i have used but you see the way i have written it down it's it's not long long sentences and this is where i'll tell you where, why i used to use those a4 size papers is i'll just fold them into a uh, half and here i will make something which i call as boss notes or super condensed notes that from these final notes i'll put the whole concept in maybe half of the page or something that confuses me in just half of the page that way this saves a lot of time just before the exam i can just go through them in the last one or two hours try it out it's really really helpful you must have seen uh, many posts that i'm doing uh, currently are from these where i condense the complete concept in just one slide so i hope you found this video helpful you don't have to follow this exact method but you can just take some points that you like and if you implement any of the tip or you have your own technique i would love to see your notes if you like you can tag me uh, on your instagram or you can share your uh, pictures of your notes uh, on the now i know facebook page that recently we have created Uh, let me know in the comments if you like this video or if you want to see more such kind of content and yeah that's all for now i will see you next time until then keep learning